In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my secret on how I sharpen my photos when it comes to using Lightroom Classic. And I'm gonna start right now. So when it comes down to sharpening your photos in Lightroom Classic, you've actually got a dedicated sharpness slider. So if you go ahead, jump onto Lightroom Classic, go to your develop panel on the right hand side, then you want to drop down to where you can see it says details. We'll go ahead and open that up and you'll see you've got a sharpening slider here called amount. All you need to do, if you go ahead and add that, it will add in sharpness to your photos. If I go ahead and zoom in, if I remove it, then add it in, you can see it's sharpening our photo quite nicely. But the problem is, if we go over to where you can see it, the background is, it's created this roughness to it, which isn't very appealing. Because, you know, some photos, you've got a foreground and background, and you don't want to sharpen the background because it's designed to be blurry. That's why you've brought a nice and expensive prime lens, you know, to create a nice shallow depth of field. You don't want to go ahead and then slap on a sharpness filter because it just doesn't work. So how can we be more selective of what we're sharpening in our photo? Well, what we can do is if we go over to the sharpness panel, you can see you've got other sliders as well. Radius, detail and also masking. Now masking, what it will do is it will basically work out what needs to be sharp and what doesn't need to be sharp in your photo and masks out what the sharpness slider does. Obviously sharpness slider increases the sharpness in your photo. So what you can do is use the masking slider to remove sharpness from certain parts of your photo and it does this automatically for us. And what's nice, it's a graduated filter. So you can slowly and steadily remove that sharpness from certain parts of the photo by increasing that slider. So what we can do is, you can see we've got the sharpness already applied. So we'll drop down to where you can see it says masking, and we'll go ahead and increase that like so until you are happy with the amount of sharpness reduced from the background. So we'll go ahead and add it, and I think I'm gonna add in 80% in this particular case. And what we can do is zoom out, and you can see, we go ahead to the foreground, you can see they are nice and sharp and the sharpness has been applied and hasn't been affected. But then what we could do is go to the background and as you can see, there is no more sharpness applied. And as you can see, the photo is now perfect. So I highly recommend adding the masking slider to your professional workflow. It's my workflow. And all of the photos that I sharpen, I always sharpen them slightly, but then what I'll do is I'll always add in that masking slider to remove the sharpness effect from areas of photo you don't want. Highly recommend adding it to your Lightroom Classic workflow.